What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the finale of Diaries of Our Day. Uh, uh, Diary of Our Days of the Breakwater. Always oh, messed it up. Uh, this one is titled From Now On. Dot dot dot. Uh, so, from now on, what? From now on, we continue fishing. From now on, I'm an outdoors girl. I, I don't know where they want to go with that title. I'm sure they'll probably end the episode with that. From now on... And then the rest of that sentence. Probably. Uh, that's how I expect it anyway. I'm going to miss this show. I really am going to miss this show. Because this is my chill show of the season. And um, next season doesn't have the greatest amount of chill shows. Uh, I've already started uh, looking into the fall 2020 season. Now that we are fast approaching. I mean, we're about just over a week away from shows starting to air here. Uh, some have had their pre-screenings and such. And it's a mess. Um, so some of these shows will be coming sooner than later, but I've had a quick count of my, uh, full 2020 lineup at the moment, provided none of the shows have to take breaks or I don't drop any of, there's going to be a lot of drops and I warn you now, cause, uh, I have 28 shows on the list that I intend to at least give an episode one to, uh, usually my average for this channel is around about to get the 15, 16 show mark. That's where I'm comfortable with. Uh, maybe a little more if I'm feeling a bit uh, adventurous. But that's normally where I average a season. So there's going to be a fair few drops. Um, so bear that in mind for next season. But anyway, back to this show because we still want to finish this show. Uh, more details on the full season are coming in a separate video, don't worry. Uh, probably later this week. Anyway. Uh, last time we were, uh, well, we were doing some fishing, some uh, no real fishing again to follow on from the episode before that. Uh, we caught a uh, pin spotted spine foot, which is a poisonous fish. Uh, and later that night, we uh, enjoyed whitefish with our family. And uh, that gave Heen an inspiration hey, I want to go catch some whitefish now. Bring, some, bring home some of that instead of uh, buying some or getting some from the neighbors or whatever. Um, so we do a supply run to uh, set up our rig entirely for whitefish, which involves a lot of uh, the different hooks and the, the baits that you'll be using and all this stuff. Because, um, yeah, if you're going for a certain type of fish, you need certain type of equipment that works best. Uh, we've had many, many years to figure out fishing by now. So, uh, However, she doesn't like the idea of live bait, the really little worms. Uh, so we use artificial bait instead, and we're the only one of our group using artificial bait, which becomes a, a key point, actually, for the end of this episode. We're at the beach again. I think it's the same beach we were at uh, previously in this show. Uh, the rest of the girls all having success catching, um, whereas Hina is struggling. She's doing all the same techniques that they are, but for some reason it's not working, uh, which prompts her to maybe think that um, uh, maybe artificial bait just doesn't work. But then she discovers, with a little bit of pushing from the rest of the girls, that maybe it's just the technique you're using doesn't work with artificial bait. If you were using live bait, maybe this would work. But because you're using artificial bait, maybe there's a different type of uh, technique you should be using. And she uses that night to research and find out that, yes, there are better ways that she can do it with artificial bait. And uh, we're going out again today to do some fishing, and now they're all going to be using artificial bait this time because, well, they've used up all their live bait, and they don't want to go buy more because I imagine live bait's going to be a little more pricey, uh, and you can actually reuse the um, artificial bait a little more. Um, and now Hina's act Hina is the most knowledgeable one because the rest of them haven't really fished with artificial bait because they use live bait all the time. So now Hina is the expert at using artificial bait, so she can help teach them how to do it, which is going to be a nice confidence boost for her, and I think I'm really going to make her enjoy fishing even more. More than she already has, anyway. So, uh, I'm going to get the episode up here. We are watching this one on Funimation, as per usual. Link is in the description for the last time of the series. Um, yeah, as always, these are time-based reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the timer for the episode. I'll count you down, 3, 2, 1, play, and on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. And... Uh, yeah, we'll have Kalakawa logo, Funimation logo. I'll call them out as they go past. OP if it shows up. Some finales don't do it, but I imagine this is the type of show that would include the OP for one last run. And, uh, yeah, with all that said, let's get ready for the finale of uh, Breakwater, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Kalakawa logo and Funimation.
Here we go. End of school day, I'm guessing? End of period, at least. Yep, definitely end of school day. Text from Hina, maybe? Dan flies back. Straight to the club room. Well, obviously. She spent all night researching. Hi, a summer. In Topi, yes, okay. For the last time this season, I'm gonna miss this. And Vesco. And yet, yeah, one hundred percent chance Ona Senpai makes its way onto uh, makes her way onto my uh, ca uh, project wall canvas sprint. Hundred percent chance. All right, here we go. <laughs> She's highly motivated, highly motivated, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see. Okay, is it to do with the fact that the live bait wriggles? <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Artificial bait doesn't move. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh, okay. All right. Oh, the senpai in the background, she's so proud. Of course it's written on the packaging. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Of course it'd be written on the packaging if you're using artificial bait. <laughs> and nothing but still that's a good start still not happening though I don't think she's moving enough It really doesn't feel like she's moving that much. At least they haven't shown her moving that much, so. We actually got a doggo.
You gonna go help her? It really doesn't feel like she's moving that much though. But whatever. <laughs> it always does. No, no doubts. Need to be careful heat stroke, yes. <laughs> but Maybe it's the heat? Mm hmm. I do wonder if the heat's playing a part of it. That is also true. This damn fly is going to do my head in. Oh, she realized something. Make tweaks, there you go. Okay. Use that as point of reference, I guess. Yeah. Maybe you shorten the bait? Hmm. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty clever. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't say that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she'll have success now. <laughs> love how enthusi enthusiastic she is when casting. I love it. Oh, there's a boy. She's waiting. Nice. She's got one. Yay! She finally caught waiting. Finally. Aww. Oh, the senpai. <laughs> uh. Please tell me the heron just comes in and swipes it. That'd be so funny if they brought the heron back. Uh. Uh. I really wish they brought the heron back just for that one moment. I really do.
Yeah, waiting. Success. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is part of the enjoyment of education. It's a shame that most education systems don't use that. <laughs> wow. Can perfect waiting fishing. Yep. Hey. Alright, continuing on into summer. What are they doing? Oh, the club room's... Oh, club room gets hot, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Understandable. Our team? Oh, Barry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't think I've ever had barley tea. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm hmm. Making good on that promise. All right, so we're going back to this bit, nice. <laughs> yeah, this is before that bit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a basically a repeat of what happened when uh, Hina went over Natsumi's house. Basically a repeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mess. Not that messy. That's a lot. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my god, they're adorable. Interesting. Immediately. Oh. <laughs> it's actually pretty good for the first time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. These two are adorable. I love them. Nice little flashback scene. Still a little bit left. I wonder what we're going to do for the finale. A little bit. <laughs> of course, she all has it on hand. Uh, she never doubted that. They're doing awesome crafts today instead of actual fishing. Mm hmm. Aha, uh -huh, using for reference? Cool. Oh my god, they're adorable. Nice. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Store owner, right? Well, the mascot from the store. At this point, I don't think she's even thought about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aww. Yeah. Oh. Uh. What? Okay. Okay. Nice subversion. I like it. All right. It's a nice subversion, I like it. Yeah, of course she... <laughs> of course she did. Oh, they all have the little ones, I love it. It's 
It's not a bad idea. We're gonna go fishing with them or something? I don't think that would work, but... Alright, attached to the bike. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> On the Zambai, you are amazing. I love you. You catch it, you eat it. Uh, instead of putting names on them, you can put your little... <laughs> I forgot about you, Sensei. <laughs> uh, please just tell me it's going to be a beer bottle. Please just make her a beer bottle. Or at least she suggests it's going to be just a... Or a can of beer. It's going to be something alcoholic. Oh, okay. She was actually kind of serious about it. I mean, that's actually a serious choice of hers. Oh, salmon. Okay. That's because she eats it with her beer. <laughs> I honestly thought they were going to try and pull the beer joke out of that, but they didn't. <laughs> Poor Hina. And she's already asleep, of course, Sensei. <laughs> what are we making, Sensei? I'm going to guess a salmon. a great montage to end. And we get beach episodes. I mean, we've had beach episodes, but you know, like an actual beach. Oh, damn. You keep rocking the full swimsuit. All right. And they're just dreaming. Okay. <laughs> they haven't actually done that. Or maybe they're reminiscing about it. I don't know. And we get the extended version of the ED this time. As we fade out, a little bit left. Mm hmm. What shall we catch today? Final haiku. Mm hmm. Wow. Uh, I'm going to miss this show so damn much. I I really am. Like, This is great. I love this show so much. And it is a shame to see it go. But at the same time, it's been a great journey. Uh, let me just mark this as complete here. Uh, do, 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 do. Mark it complete as today. Boop. There we go. Completed on an A-list. Yeah, this is uh this this was such a chill show. Very chill. Good final episode to wrap it all up. Uh we had uh Hina understand and finally catch her waiting with the artificial bait. Good first half of the episode. And then uh Natsumi finally we did the reverse of um instead of Hina going over to Natsumi's, we had Natsumi come over to Hina's and explain the the little uh uh, fish blushies, and then the whole group getting their fish blushies as well. Uh, Yuki getting uh, an octopus on the senpai getting, what was it, a rockfish in the end, I think she said. Um, and then I I think I think um, uh, Sensei, what's her name? 
Is it Sayaka Sensei? Was that her name? I actually can't remember. Yeah, Sayaka Sensei. Um, yeah, I think she got like um, like almost like a, a fillet fish, like um, just like a, a a piece of salmon, like prepared to eat. Uh, which I think is dangerous, because I think if she gets a little drunk, she might start trying to eat that, even though it's a plushie. But yeah, it, it, it was adorable. And using that for... I didn't even think that they... When they said put like a little rope on it, I was like, oh, okay, are they going to put it on like their bikes or something? Are they going to attach it to their rigs or something? Uh, but no, instead they attached it uh, and had it hooked around their uh, bottles of barley tea so they knew whose who's tea was whose. That was very, very clever. I, I didn't even think of that, and... Obviously, since uh, Hina and Natsumi had the same ones, they've got the the names underneath theirs, but that's still adorable. That was actually a really clever idea, and I, I like that a lot. But, God, I'm so sad to see this go. Because, like I said, we don't have a super chill show next season, realistically. Not to this extent. Uh, we've got our idol shows. I guess... The, the 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 one show that kind of sparks maybe similar is uh, Real Romanesque, which is um uh it's it's a sci-fi take, but it focuses around uh trains and stuff. Um, so this might be more chill. It's a, it's a sci-fi slice of life, and it features trains. It's only a five-minute short, um, but I guess it counts as a chill show next season. Uh, but Doug Kobo, who would normally be doing these chill shows, is doing... Oh, what's the name of that show? What is the name of it? Uh, Maojo do, uh, do, do Oyasumi. That was it. Uh, or um, A Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle. I've, I don't know how much this is going to be a chill show. It looks fairly chill, but I'm not quite sure. It's got a lot more of a fantasy twist around it. Um, fantasy and supernatural. So I'm not quite sure what the group around this princess character is going to be like. It seems like a lot of um, mysterious entities, not so much uh, like a group of girls going around. It's like one girl and her, a bunch of demonic entities as well as, I guess, good entities. I have no idea. So I don't know if that's going to hit that same itch as uh, Breakwater did. Uh, but I will be 100% looking out like... I watch pretty much every uh, Doe Kobo show at this point. Uh, I'm going to be watching... like I've watched a lot of their recent stuff, and I'm going to continue to be watching their new stuff, including uh, Ikebukuro Westgate Park, even though I don't think that's the type of show for me, necessarily. Um, but I'm going to be on the lookout next year to see what other shows they have, like Asteroid and Love, Diaries of Days of the Breakwater, uh, Helpful Fox, uh, Senko-san, um, even shows like Dumbbell. For that matter, I mean, we've got Sports Climbing Girls this season, which kind of hits that same itch, I suppose. Um, but yeah, sad to see this one go, but uh, it's been a fantastic journey. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series as much as I have. It's, uh, I'm so glad that uh, it came back after its hiatus. I was very sad that this show had to take hiatus in spring, but it was well worth the wait to come back to. And... Um, I hope this show has sparked a uh, renewed interest in fishing um, for at least some people. Like I, It's poorly timed, but fishing is one of those solo outdoor activities or at least socially distanced uh, activities that you can absolutely comply with uh, under any form of COVID regulations or whatnot. So I imagine you could still indulge in a fishing activity and still be compliant with whatever your government's covid restrictions end up being uh as uh second wave starts hitting anyway let's not get into that too much because that's a whole political thing that uh, i'm sure i could be very angry about because goddamn boris johnson anyway um that's going to do it for today guys thank you everyone for watching hope you enjoyed uh, this episode leave a like if you did uh leave a comment we thought this final episode as well as the whole series now that we're done um I hope you guys are going to be sad to see this one go as well because this has been a, a joy to watch this season and I, I want more to watch uh, in uh, times to come. Like, this this is not the type of show that will get a second season, unfortunately. Um, it, they usually just don't do well enough to require a second season. Um, but these genre of shows, Cute Girls Doing Cute Things, combined with uh, a hobby or club activity, uh, something that I will 100% be looking forward to in future seasons. Um, 
like I said, not one next season that fits this build, but maybe in uh, winter we might be able to get a new IP that does something similar amongst the endless sequels that are coming in winter as well. Like, I don't think you guys realize how many sequels winter already has lined up, and we still have a lot of the uh, shows to still confirm. So, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well to see next week. Uh, not next week's episodes, uh, to see the rest of the Summer 2020 lineup you can find on my channel. Stay tuned as well for my full 2020 preview vid so you can see what shows I intend to react to on the channel. Uh, and then stay tuned for those weekly reactions coming, well, next week or two. Like, in two weeks' time, we'll be very much into the full season and starting a lot of shows, so hope you're here for some of those. Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.